hi guys welcome to my channel today we're going with another collective this is who went to a tarot reader about you and what did that tarot reader told them about you so pretty much what did the tarot reader <laughs> tell them about you so once we short well, let's move forward somebody went to a tarot reader to read about you and let's see what they told them um, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to present it for all of you. Please keep in mind that roles can be resting between energies. As I always say, I run no daycare, so please know that this is entirely general. Feel free to take or leave whatever you want at any time. So, let's see what that tarot reader and what was asked about you. So, who asked about you, first of all? Let's see. Hmm. So, this is interesting. Hella interesting. So, we got Aquarius energy. We got, um, again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um, you could be very, uh, there's a lot of energies of air. So, you can have a lot of air energy, a very strong air sign. Uh, we got here Leo, Sagittarius, Aries in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But no, I do see like the person who asked about you has a lot, a lot of like um, fire energy. So I do see a female uh, asking about you, somebody who is dark skin complex. This person uh, allegedly was asking this tarot reader, what is your secret? They wanted to know if you had a secret that they could use against you. So this person sees you thriving, doing good. You could have recently started a business. You could have recently had an LLC. You could have recently do a lot of things. You know, you could have recently started a relationship. I don't know. Whatever it is, it was new. It was big. It was in intense. So at this point, this person got a reading about you because they wanted to know there was better things coming for you and they wanted to know a secret and they also allegedly wanted to know how they could stop it. So this person asked about that. At the same way, they were asking about if they could do something to get you legally in trouble. So this is going back to the business situation. If you're starting a business or you have something, they were trying to take away that business idea or business from you and they were trying to get like tea and how to do it correctly and at this point they didn't get any good news because they said that you were divinely protected and that you already did all the things that you needed to do and that they couldn't not they couldn't take away your your business idea in no way shape or form now i do see right here that also is somebody who watches your steps every way and they also were trying to ask if there was any dark secrets that you had so they can expose it on the internet or they expose it so they can take away your benefit your your blessings and they were told no now they were also giving a warning into where they said that they needed to stop messing with you they need to stop watching you that they need to stop putting witchcraft on you because it was been returning to them now they told to this tarot reader that oh my gosh but how is it returning to me if i don't feel anything it says that the witchcraft they did on you was returning to their loved ones so their loved ones were actually the one paying the price this is the karmic issue issues that people do not know not often the bad you do reflects on your life it could reflect on people you love the most as a consequence so at this point right here this person was very upset they almost cried out of anger when they heard all of this because they wanted to hear bad things happen that that were happening to you but they didn't get any of that indeed it was very difficult to dive in into your energies without your authorization because you're divinely protected they also were warned that because they did that they were going to have to pay a price and they didn't care for that now they actually uh, see you as a threat, okay? They actually see you as a threat and they see you, maybe you do influ you're an influencer or something or you do something online and this person watches you and they see your art. They try to copy it. It did not work. They try to copy your style. It did not work. They try to steal your na the name of your business. It did not work. So at this point, they're just watching and trying to, they were trying to find information and what am I doing wrong? They were told to leave you alone. They were told to leave you alone multiple times um they were warning this person at this point um they were trying to see if they could actually get information so they could hack your account or so it did not work now they were told that you were going to be successful that, it, that you were going to have everything you ever wanted that they, eventually they were going to find that you were going to find out what they did and that they had to pretty much give you an explanation of why 
it was some female who did this reading who asked for this reading now what else Uh, again, this was a bad reading for them because everything they were told, the little things they could get on you, it was positive. Um, she also asked if she was patient enough if your life was going to crumble and or fall into pieces and they were told no. They said that they needed to adjust to the idea that you were born successful. Uh, literally, you were born successful. And if even if it's a relationship, they said that you were born successful too and that that was going to work. Um, we got somebody who has glasses, allegedly, who has short brownish hair. They see uh, seem like on the... They're not... They're, I would say like they're like plus size, I would say. And somebody who envies you and watches you from afar. I do see this person like very hidden and they watch you and they're very jealous and very mad. Um, they were actually allegedly trying, they put a spell on you to get allegedly get you in depression, get you like to be suicidal and all that allegedly. And it did not work. It did not work. Maybe you felt one day that you felt drained and sad, but then you did an energy cleanse. You could have cleansed your home. You prayed or so, and you removed that immediately. It was almost bounced back immediately. And this person asked about that spell and it says that it didn't work. So at this point, they were also asking if you are doing something illegal so they can actually get you in trouble with the law. Like I said before, they were trying very hard to get you in trouble with the law to take from you. And they said, no, you are not doing nothing illegal and that they were not going to be able to fulfill that. That if they were to continue to do this, they were going to pretty much uh, do something that was going to call them out and call your attention and that they could get in trouble with the law. And you have a stalker. Okay, you have a stalker who's watching your every move. Now, this could be because you're an influencer. This could be because you got a business. It's because you have a partner that they want. Whatever this is, they're obsessed with you. You got to be careful here. They, they were told that you are literally the high priestess. You're not only divinely protected, you're divinely connected. You're like in the in-between, between the energies of the divine and the human world. And they told them, hey, you don't want to mess with this person. You don't want to mess with this person because this person has a lot of power. And they were warned multiple times. Uh, the tarot reader that was reading on this person for this person was having a hard time getting your energies was having a hard time getting a clear view because they were going against the protection you have so they were very very i would say vague on what they were able to give them and this tarot reader explained that to this lady and this lady was so mad she allegedly called this tarot reader a scammer and the tarot reader says no i'm not a scammer i'm very known she paid a high known tarot reader uh in her area uh, and this person was like, no, I've been doing tarot readings for like 20 some years and this is the first time I have had such issues going into this person's energies. And they're saying that I know I'm going to have to cleanse here. I'm not have to like give some sort of like, I don't know, forgive, ask for forgiveness because your energies were blocked. They were not allowed to do this. And the information they got, it was very vague, very mixed. And this person who paid, they paid up to a $90, $90 for this reading, guys. They were so mad because of so little they got. And what they got was not even what they expected. They're telling, the the reader told this person, you're messing with the wrong power. You're messing with somebody who's highly powerful, highly intuitive. You should not do this. Um, if you felt uh, allegedly some drain or tired and you felt like you were watched or so, it's because that day they were doing that reading on you. That's why. And that's why you knew how to do the energetic cleanse. That's why you wake up and you wanted to clean. You want, because you knew. Because your, your ancestors, your spiritual team, your protector told you, do this. And you did it immediately. And it, it blocked that again more and more and more. Now, I do see that this person is going to get another reading on you in a couple weeks. So my advice for you is to continue staging your home and continue to protect your energies and continue with your protection spells and your energetic bath because this person is going to do it again because they think that if they do it again and pay again, they could get something different on you because they're hoping because they're saying, oh, you know, but energies could change. That's what they're saying. The, the person who's interested. But this is a female who's very interested in what you do. And I don't think you know them that well. I feel like if 
if you have seen them or interact with them is on social media and it was very vague um i do see this person is older than you is older than you for a couple years and i that's what i'm saying that is pure jealousy that they want what you have maybe you look good and they and they want how you, they want to be how you look uh it's honestly it's unmotivated because you haven't done nothing to this person physically even if it's about the relationship you have not done to this nothing to this person physically i don't see you knowing exactly who they were even if you've seen them you're like what why you know what i'm saying so it's like based on their own jealousies and insecurity insecurities but your protector is going to give them the tower this last reading if they don't do it it's going to be better for them but if they do that reading uh they're going to awaken the wrath of your protectors against them and everything they ever thought they knew they don't at this point they wanted to know you were unfaithful or that if you were ec they wanted they want to know allegedly if you have an of they allegedly want to know if if um there is um something embarrassing they can do so they can destroy your your reputation i see here is like they want to destroy your reputation and your image and they're trying to get information because they did try to get it online they try to find your social medias they try to find but either or you don't have any or the ones you have are so private that they will literally have to ask for to friend you and you can't they, they won't do it because you won't accept them so at this point they're just trying to get information this person is trying to destroy your reputation try to make you look bad out of what out of out of freaking jealousy and this person i do see them like almost like screaming out of anger <sighs> because what they're gonna get it's just good news for you and telling you how successful and how great you're gonna be and this person is so angry that they screamed and they're not gonna get their money's worth because they're thinking like you have some dirt that they can get to destroy your reputation and they're telling them that there's no science there's nothing to go against you because no evil will ever touch you or be fulfilling and they're telling you she's the mar matriarch like she's like the queen you're like the queen yeah she, they're, they're gonna tell her that you were born to do this and they just don't understand how you are done how you were born to do this because they've been trying to do the same thing that you did or they were after the same person you were after and it didn't work but all their efforts are going to be pointless they're going to waste again their money uh now they're gonna try i don't know where somebody's gonna try to friend you somebody's gonna try to be your friend is a female uh it does seem like either or they have a lot i i did mention like air i see libra so if you're a libra hey please watch out if you're not a libra maybe this person has a lot of libra in them but i do see somebody who is like either or somebody who followed you for a long time and uh, suddenly they're trying to hit you up on dms or so that's the person allegedly if it's somebody that you don't know or that you haven't talked and they're suddenly trying to hit you up that allegedly could be the person so at this point yes there's a female getting an information on you i'm going to try to give you some initials but this is the reason why um yeah so odd and this the sad thing and the funny thing at the same time is like you guys do not know each other that well for them to be this invested in your life or wanting to be this invested in your life okay this could be somebody that is the new partner of your ex that they're just so invested maybe but i do see that the connections don't add up because i don't see you recognizing this person you don't i don't see you saying that i know who they are i don't see you do that now we got possible initials keep in mind that this could be their first last medal or even a nickname the main focus and the only focus is the initials i'm going to give you some names or words just for you to have an idea exactly of the initials i'm talking about but once again initials only are the focus so we got j as in joey or jamie i as in ian f as in frank m as in michelle 
Q as in Kessel or M as in mom, K as in Kessel, B as in boy, O as in Oscar, Y as in yes, and T as in Tyler or Tom. So these are the initials and initials only, as I said before. And the funny thing is like this person also, they're not a witch. They're just regular people who are trying to do witchcraft on you. Uh, they most likely allegedly paid other people. If not, they're doing it off of TikTok. And because their intentions are not based on anything, but jealousy that's why it's backfiring because what they're doing is so silly and that's what i know they don't practice witchcraft they do not know witchcraft it's somebody who is just found you and they said uh i don't want them to be happy and that's pretty much what it is but every time they got a reading it says like this is going to be their second reading on you the one that's upcoming every time they get a reading on you they get angry they leave angrier I want to give you some positive affirmations to you. I gave you two. It says, I am willing to forgive. And the first one says, forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost any problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. I forgive and I set myself free. Then I trust, oh my gosh, I trust my wisdom. And it says, as I go about my daily affairs, I listen to my own guidance. My intuition is always on my side. I trust it to be there at all times. I am safe. So with this, said, guys, this is the end of your reading. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want me to do more collectives. Give me an idea in the comments and I will take it in consideration. I also want to invite you guys to follow me on my other platforms such as Instagram, Facebook. I'm also on Spotify. I'm on Facebook. I think I said that again. Um, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and also I offer personal readings. You can get all the links in the description box below. Oh, I'm also on Twitch, by the way. Uh, again, descriptions are going to be in the description box below. Um, sorry, the links and or in the bio here on YouTube. So thank you so much and have an amazing